Okay, now let's listen to this example by Mozart together. Five one perfect authentic cadence. Repeat. This is what we call the antecedent phrase. It comes to a weak cadence, followed by the consequent phrase. As you can hear and as you can see um, in this example, this is clearly binary, clearly in binary. So if you remember from the previous lesson, the first question to ask yourself is, does the piece divide into two parts? And the answer for this one, yes, it does, it's hence binary. And the second question in the previous lesson that I asked you to always ask yourself when analyzing a binary piece is, what cadence ends the first section? So that would be here. So this example is in A major, begins in A major, ends in A major. And now let's take a look at the middle, so the end of the first section. So E to A here, 5, 7 to 1. So this is clearly a perfect authentic cadence in the original tonic of A major which tells us that's a cadence on one in the original key, making this a sectional binary. Okay. And now the third question to ask yourself is, does the opening material, does the opening thematic or melodic, me melodic material return at the end of the second section? And the the piece opens with this melody. And as you probably noticed, that melody returns right here in the third system. So that's a very clear return of the opening material in the second half of the second section, making this one, this binary, what we call a rounded binary. Okay, so that's it. So those, just remember those three questions to ask yourself whenever you're analyzing a binary piece and you'll be able to cover the most important aspects there. And if we're going to write, to draw a diagram, an analytical graph or a diagram for this one, this is what we're going to start with, the repeat sign. Okay, the repeat sign. And now we will get into the details. So um, as I said, when we were listening to this one, there are two phrases, antecedent phrase that comes to a weaker cadence, followed by a consequent phrase, which is like the answer that provides the resolution that comes to a full cadence here. So because of that, we are going to mark these two phrases as A, and the second phrase, as you can see, opens with the same material as the first phrase. Because of that, we are going to use the same letter 
but we'll just use a little indicator to show that they end a little differently. Okay, so that would be the first section. And second section, boom, da, ding, dong, da. even though the rhythm is the same as the beginning, but clearly this is different material. The, the melodic material is on, presented on a different scale degree, and the accompaniment is also different, and it's also based on different harmonic structure. So we're going to use a different letter here just to show it's not the same material. And now, four bars later, that A material, opening A material, clearly returns. It looks like we're about to have this, the consequent phrase. What we get here? So instead of ending here in the fourth bar of the third system here, Mozart turns it around. Turns it around. So instead of having a perfect authentic cadence, bong, bong, retardation, followed by a resolution upward there. So this is no longer a perfect authentic cadence, but an imperfect authentic cadence because of the C sharp and the top voice there, which allows for continuation. So the Mozart did that on purpose in, so that that allows him to write an extension to that phrase. So finally, we get a full cadence here at the very end. So because of that, we're going to mark A here because clearly this is related, definitely related to this part, this thematic material. And more specifically, it's closer to the second phrase here, but also because of the difference at the end, we're going to mark it a little more differently. So double prime there, just to show that it's still based on the same material like the opening, but there's a little more difference there. So that, that would be our analytical graph showing the thematic part, okay? But at this point, our graph doesn't show the tonal relationship, so we're going to include that as well. So A major, and let me give myself a little room here. A major starts in one, half cadence here. Consequent phrase also starts in one, and Five one. That's that looks like a six, but it's actually five one. It just or I can write it here. That means it's a perfect then a cadence line better right here. Okay, and the second half also it also begins on one, and at the end of the second system a half cadence there, and. When A returns, the tonic returns, and at the very end, perfect authentic cadence. So now when we look at this analytical graph here, we clearly, even without listening to the piece, we know we're looking at a rounded binary because of this A here at the end of the second half. And we know this is a sectional binary and that is because of this 5-1 here at the end of the original. Um, at the end, this 5-1 here at the end of the first section, which means we cadence this on one of the original key. So there, here is a typical example, perfect example for a sectional rounded binary by Mozart.